Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll show you how to install a Intel LGA1200 processor onto a suitable motherboard. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be looking at how to install a LGA1200 processor, such as this one. This is the Intel 10600 and we're going to be installing it onto a B560 motherboard. Now, obviously, depending on your combination, uh, you might be slightly different, but in theory, the principle is exactly the same. So we're going to have two angles of this, so you can have a side-on angle, and also we're going to do an overhead shot, just so you can see exactly how it's done. It is very straightforward to do, but there are some things to bear in mind, really. On the motherboard itself, we do have a pin grid array, which potentially can be damaged, so you do need to be very careful with that. With the processor itself, there's very little that can actually be damaged as we don't have pins, we have pads. So this is a little bit less delicate, but the motherboard is one we're going to be especially careful with. So let's get straight on with it. Okay, so the first thing to do, obviously get your uh, processor ready, which we've got here. And the next thing to do is to get the motherboard ready. So all we need to do, there's a latch on the side here. So a little bit of downward pressure, which will release that arm, as you can probably just see there, it's dipped down a little bit. Then pull the arm out and let it release slowly. It has a tendency to spring back, so it is kind of spring-loaded, so do watch out for that. The shield on the top here, leave that in place for now, because that will be taken care of by itself. Uh, move the bracket back and flip this up. You may find on some boards, you press that and it will go all the way back up. Some you may need to actually manually lift it. So this will expose all the pins actually on the board itself. So what you want to do is have a quick visual check, have a close-up and just make sure there doesn't appear to be any odd pins on there. You can tell that normally because there'll be a very slight highlight. So if you move around on different directions, you'll probably see that one just sparkles a little bit more than the other, a bit like the stars in the sky. Once you're happy that that's all okay, get your processor out of its clamshell pack. And with the processor, you will notice there are indentations. on the sides there, left and right, and they match up with the indentations actually on the board. A little bit more difficult to see, but hopefully you've got both camera angles there, so you should be able to see it quite easily. Now essentially another way of working out is if you actually look at the writing on the top of the actual chip cover itself, so the writing is that way up, so just make sure that the processor has the writing in the same direction, and generally that will work fine. Again, obviously making sure you match up those latches or lugs, on each side with the actual processor tray itself. So in order to put it in, I would suggest holding it on both sides and then gently lower it into the socket and you should find it falls straight into place, which it appears to have done there straight away. So you can see there, the lugs are firmly in the side of the CPU socket. So that's essentially it. If for some reason it doesn't go in, first of all, I would suggest again, grabbing it by the side, pull the CPU out of the socket and then have another attempt at it. You can, if you want to, use your fingers on the side there and just use that as a bit of a kind of a guide or a rest. And you should find the CPU sits firmly in the socket. So when that's done, we can then lower the top again. And you'll see that these little teeth at the bottom there, or metal extrusions, go underneath this section here. So if we move the lever down slowly, you can see it is on there. And you'll hear a bit of a creaking as this goes on. Bend the pin out and then back under. And you should find that the actual cover itself has actually removed itself. So it just pops off. Keep this to one side. If you do actually have to uh, return the motherboard for some reason, if it's not working or whatever, then you will need to replace this in there if you're doing an RMA. So now that is the CPU seated in its socket firmly. Make sure the tension's okay on there. And yeah, that is it pretty much all done. All you need to do now is to mount your cooler of choice and we'll go into that in a follow-up video. So there we go, nice and simple, nice and straightforward. There is our CPU socketed in our board. If you want to see the BIOS on this board in some detail, then there will be follow-up videos for this particular one if you've watched the unboxing, etc, etc. I think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. If you've got any comments or questions, you know where to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.